Deborah Zarney, and you're about to watch scenes from my TV sitcom entitled Brewski. The term Brewski, as you may know, refers to a beer, and this sitcom takes place in my hometown of Milwaukee. <laughs> Brewski, the sitcom, is about a hapless middle-aged couple who hates having to adapt to all the changes of modern life. Otto Schimmel is an assembly line worker, and his wife, Gladys, is a coffee shop waitress. All they want is to live a quiet, peaceful, predictable life in their Milwaukee bungalow home, but life always gets in the way. In the pilot episode, Otto encounters numerous obstacles to hosting his friends to a Packers playoff game. No beer, no TV, and a blizzard. Prior to this scene, they solved the beer problem, but now the TV died because the antenna fell off the roof during the blizzard. <laughs> so Otto and Gladys head out in the storm and have just arrived at a discount electronics store to buy a new TV. Now I'll let the actors introduce themselves and we'll get started. <coughs> Joan Grove, I'm the narrator. Thomas F. Walsh, salesman. John Frieda, Otto. Charlene Hartman, Gladys. Seth Michael May, Mac. Neil Arlock, Joe. Interior, discount electronic store evening. Otto and Gladys, bundled up in their snowsuit jackets, stand before a fast-talking salesman, 50s, in the TV department. Now, everybody wants high death. The new shows are being shot on. What's high death? Don't you know it's for people hard of hearing? Mm -hmm. Now, better sound quality. The old set was obsolete 20 years ago. Worked for us. Well, let me show you our crown jewel. It's on special tonight only. He walks to a huge screen, HD TV. Now, as you can see, it has an extra wide screen. Your friends will be the envy of you. Oh, that would be a change. How much? And we're we'll offering a special deal when you get the dish. But we need it tonight. Just plug it in. But the dish gives you all the additional challenges. You got boxing, football, even gardening for the ladies. I don't garden. I don't like newfangled contraptions. Don't know how to fix them. Is there a knitting channel? Sure thing. Sure thing. There's, there's something for everybody on Dish TV. Well, how about that, that unit over there? He points to a wooden console off by itself in the corner. I'm sorry. That was a demo when the store first opened. It's slated for the strip shop. Well, which set is the biggest bargain? Why, this one, of course. That's why I showed it to you first. Well, why don't we splurge, Otto? This could be our anniversary present uh, to each other. She puts her arm around him. He's unmoved. Aren't we going to miss the game, sweetie? Otto looks at his watch. Uh, how long does it uh, take to set up? Just plug it in. It's idiot-proof. Exterior, <laughs> street, moments later. In the blizzard, Otto is riding his fat boy, Harley Davidson's motorcycle slowly <laughs> through the snow-packed streets. He tows behind him an old-fashioned flying saucer-type sled. The new HD TV in a huge cardboard box sits on the sled. Gladys walks, walks alongside it, gliding the sled through the snow. Gladys almost trips and falls on the ice. Can you slow down? I almost fell. Don't fall on the TV. <laughs> Interior Shimmel Living Room later. The shiny new HD TV sits among cardboard rubble in the middle of the room. Gladys sits beside it on the cable rug, looking over the instructions. Otto is looking over the set. I think these instructions are only in Spanish and Japanese. Uh, keep looking. She keeps turning over the papers. I've looked everywhere, but there's, there's nothing in English. Otto is rummaging through the packing materials. Beatrice bought a toaster there. And, and, and some, something happened to her. Maybe that's why they stuck there as discounted. Oh, jeez. Can't they write a normal language anymore? He throws some styrofoam across the floor in frustration. Where's the goddamn clock? Is it attached to the TV? Do you think I'm an idiot? He checks the set. It ain't here. The doorbell rings. It's open! Otto's friends, Joe and Mac, enter. Mac carrying a case of beer. They spot the HDTV. 
I don't believe it. Jeez Louise, did you buy that, Otto? No. Actually, me and Gladys shoplifted it on our shoulders out the door. <laughs> what made you decide to get an HD TV, Otto? Our own console is on the blink. The antenna fell off the roof. Well, what's taking you so long to connect it? Maybe you can help me find the plug, wise guy. Don't you have a plug, Otto? Otto looks at Joe like he's going to explode. Mac and Joe start looking through the packing materials. You didn't get it at the new electronics store opened up, did you? Why? My, my friend Mary paid an extra 500 for her TV. How much did you pay, Otto? I don't remember. Joe is carefully examining the packing materials, and Otto tears through them like a bull. The game is on in 15 minutes, Otto. Don't pressure me. <laughs> Joe picks up the instruction booklet and reads some words in Japanese. The others stop at what they're doing to watch. These here instructions are for a dishwasher, not a TV. <laughs> well, maybe we can wash dishes tonight. I'll try. Come hella high water, we're watching the game. Exterior, Shimoho, moments later. Otto is scaling the side of his house like a mountain climber. The old antenna attached to the back of the snowsuit jacket. Gladys, Joe, and Mac stand below on the sidewalk. There you go, Otto! Otto grabs the vertical gutter attached to the house. It comes loose. <laughs> and Otto, holding on to the gutter like a monkey around a palm tree, starts falling away from the house. Joe and Mac run up to him and push the gutter and Otto back against the house. The roof is that way, Otto. Sorry, I forgot my compass. Next, Otto starts climbing a trellis to get to the roof. Careful, Otto! Don't hurt my vines on that there trellis! As Otto climbs the trellis like a ladder, his foot crashes through its frame. Joe and Mac again rush over to catch him, but he manages to climb to the trellis. I told you to be careful. Gladys, do you want to climb up to the roof? Well, I might have to if you can. She weighs less than you, Otto. Otto makes it to the rain gutter along the edge of the roof. In an especially ungainly manner, Otto swings one leg over the gutter and manages to hoist himself up onto the lower part of the roof. I can't believe you made it that far, Otto. Give him some positive encouragement, Mac. Your weight sure don't hold you back, Otto. And your brain don't hold you back. Well, if that ain't calling it a pot calling the kettle hot. Otto tries climbing up to the chimney, but he slides down the slope roof to the edge. He tries again and again, slides down. The game starts in five minutes. They got the announcements first, so maybe we got another five minutes. How are you doing, Otto? Otto tries more frantically to cl climb up on the roof, but this time he comes crashing down off the roof into a high snowbank next to the house. Lattice runs over to him, followed by Joe and Mac. You okay, Otto? Can you get out of there by yourself? Otto is covered with snow and mad as hell as he climbs out of the snowbank. Don't track up the driveway. I already shoveled it. Moments, <laughs> moments later, Joe and Mac are trying to maneuver a pulley system to which they have attached Otto back on the roof. The roof is tied around his belly and his crotch. Joe and Mac are huffing and puffing. You can help us, you know. Pull yourself up! Otto! Otto is like a crab trying to scale the, the sloped roof. Pull, pull harder. We're, we're going to miss the game. T together. One, two, three. Joe and Mac yank him hard. Otto grabs his crotch and shot. <laughs> he recovers and scrambles over to the chimney. Gladys claps. You made it! Otto quickly grabs the antenna and reconnects wires. He positions the antenna. I'm coming down. Hold me. He lets himself drop. Wait, oh, not yet. Gladys oh. is horrified. God in him. Joe and Mac lunge for the rope and manage to break Otto's quick descent. Otto is suspended in midair over the eave of the roof.
resembling a spider hanging by a thread. He struggles helplessly, trying to loose the rope cutting into his crotch as Joe and Mac try to maneuver him down. You, you pulling, Joe? Of course! You pulling? They tug on the rope, but Otto won't budge. He's still trying to loosen the rope in his crotch. What the hell's taking so long? Well, we're having a little difficulty here, Otto. What? Take it easy, Otto. We'll get you down. Otto frantically struggles to no avail. You think the rope is snagged on something? Must be. From his vantage point, hanging from the roof, Otto can see into the neighbor's living room. He sees the game begin. <laughs> the game start. What's the matter with you guys? Suddenly, a strong gust of wind blows, and the antenna again falls off the roof, narrowly missing Otto on his way down. Creepers! See? Every time! Otto flails like he's flapping his wings upside down. He pushes out his arms and limbs in all directions, panicky and wild. Otto has reached the limits of desperation. Ah! <laughs> Interior. Schimmel living room. Later. Otto sits in his lazy boy in his underwear, white tank top and boxes, as Gladys rubs Ben Gay onto his arms and legs. A small TV set on a kitchen chair a few feet in front of Otto is droning softly. The HDTV sits off to the side. At least you were able to watch the second half of the game. Otto says nothing, sitting sullen and dejected. Good thing I kept the 12-inch set. I knew it would come in handy someday. It's black and white, Gladys. <laughs> and the guys will never let me forget it. You might not have seen anything if the fire department hadn't come to get you down. Well, they didn't have the sound, the sirens, and, and bring two trucks. All the neighbors watched. Otto sulks. You'll be the talk of the neighborhood. Did you have to throw up like that? <laughs> well, when I ate dinner, I wasn't planning on hanging upside down for an hour. It was a heavy meal. But I know you'll love your cleanishness. I hate missing the start of the game. He looks brutally at Gladys. And the halftime show with the cheerleaders. <laughs> I know you do, Otto. She puts the cap on the Ben Gay. Is that all I get? When do I get my massage? When I'm not sore anymore. Gladys kisses Otto on his bald head. The Packers won, sweetie. Otto nods. <clears throat> his mood improves. That's the most important thing. <laughs> he smiles and fondly strokes Gladys' cheek as they share a look of love. Thank <laughs> you.